my friend, the gorgeous Miss Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> fiance back in college and her fiance told me heaven to Betsy has yet to meet his needs in the bedroom. Yeah. I wasn't come tonight. I wasn't gonna make it. Um, just how Vanessa almost not quite finished getting into drag every time. She's not quite finished. A lot of his wig is thirsty. Another one who's the pure embodiment of it's all, what's on the inside that counts. We have another one with no style to hair in the face. And that's just Sephira. I mean... <laughs> Speaking of three outfits, give it up for our host, Dominique Lady. Yes, Dominique Lee, the geriatric queen of Philadelphia. And she recycles her outfits more than she recycles jokes from Bev. I wouldn't say mean things about anybody, especially people on this panel, if I didn't love them. So, miss the information. Hello. <laughs> Moving on to the pure rivers. So, <laughs> anybody knows anything about talent, it is Zafira Rivers. You know, she has multiple crowns. And if she gets a few more, her teeth will get fixed. <laughs> I mean, if she's the empress, that's like John Burr calling himself the bank teller. One PC broad. Remember, people her age were raised by parents who used language by today's standards would be totally unacceptable. Well, Vanessa here has steered clear from hate speech and avoided the N word to this day. And that N word, nutrition. Zafira <laughs> is obviously stunning and very popular with the boys. She was dating this one guy, but had to break it off because he was found out to be a compulsive liar. I talked to the guy, and he said that's not true. He also said Zafira Rivers was really talented and very, very smart. Because he's a compulsive liar. Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right. Okay. I'm kidding, of course. Zafira Rivers is awesome. Zafira, all the guys you fuck are like your mom. Very drunk while you're inside of them. Thank you. No, I, I love Betsy. I've had the pleasure of working with Betsy closely for the last two years, and it's really been a, a really fun time. People tell us all the time that we look alike, and I think that's really fucked up. I mean, I mean, we do have a lot in common. And I mean, we're both gorgeous. We're both five foot two. Um, <laughs> We're both black, um, but when we take our wigs off, my hairline is a little bit better, and bitch, I'm gone. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, that's fucking terrible too, bitch. <laughs> Going to a Missy information show is what I imagine being on acid is like. <laughs> She's very entertaining, and I really have no idea why. Like, you can't look away, but you also have no idea what the fuck is happening. <laughs> I also don't think she knows what the fuck is happening, so at least we're on the same page. Dominic Lee is like Diet Ben, only she has half the talent and twice the age. <laughs> no, but please give it up for Dominique, she is the first human to make fire. <laughs> never had a drag show explained to me in such detail by another drag queen in a group of drag queens. It's really unfortunate. Give me my phone. I want to read this message to you. Dominique likes to use 
the hashtag poor Todd. And after being cast for the show, I understand anyone who has to endure that much talking. I'm sorry, Todd. And they've been together for 17 years. <laughs> Todd, that's great. Please blink twice if you need help. <laughs> And on, to on the topic of people needing help, the woman we're here to roast is Vanessa Sterling. Make some noise for Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa Sterling is a legend. Vanessa Sterling is a relic. <laughs> Vanessa Sterling is the worst drag queen in the tri-state area. <laughs> Vanessa has been doing drag longer than anyone in the city. Not that you'd be able to tell. She's terrible. <laughs> But she's still hanging on, and I love it. It inspires me to never stop trying, no matter how many of you would wish that I would stop. Uh, never give up. That's a great message. Um, unfortunately for the rest of us, we do wish that Vanessa would give up. Please, just like Missy, stop. I'm only kidding. Vanessa is an inspiration to the new drag queens in the area. Uh, she's the host of Amateur Drag Attack, and she gives a platform for new queens to perform on a stage and get out there for the first time. Um, and, you know, those girls really have a great time because they know they'll be better than at least one queen for the night. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa Sterling is so bad at drag. How bad is she? Period. <laughs> to be the winner. You were fantastic, I have to say. But your jokes were so easy. Did you write them with your asshole? <laughs> Let's get personal here for a minute. Okay. Missy confided in me that her and her dad don't have a great relationship. Don't worry, she still has a father figure. Oh, I'm sorry, dad bod. That was a funny fucking joke. You can all suck my dick. That was a good joke. You can kiss my ass on that one. Missy information is so adorable. She reminds me of a munchkin. Not from the Wizard of Oz, of course, but from Dunkin' Donuts, because she's round and soft, and probably has gotten glazed by a guy that makes less than minimum wage. Before I started doing drag in my bedroom during COVID, I got on Instagram, I started stalking some queens, started feeling it out, yes, and I was messy, I think I messaged you in about 2020, and I was like, oh, tell me how to drag, I need to know, and she was like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> so that lines up pretty well, I feel like we've come full circle tonight. They invited me to be here, um, and I. she's also one of the first queens that I reached out to. When you're a new queen, you're looking for connections, okay? You're trying to like figure out, where are the shows? Where am I going? What do I need to do? And uh, it wasn't helpful at all. <laughs> she was telling me the story once, and it just like illuminated to me how fucking old she is. Okay, it's, she just started out, she was like, <coughs> Picture this, Sicily, 1923! Oh! And then I tuned out, I was like, oh my god, she is geriatric, and I was like, poor Todd, poor fucking Todd, how do you deal? I've had such a great time up here, and now I'm going to do what I shouldn't be doing, which is performing according to my lovely sisters. I love you, Vanessa. You're fantastic. I want everybody to give it up for her because she is an amazing queen, regardless of everything she does that we hate. I absolutely love Vanessa Sterling. She reminds me of one of those adorable chubby cheek cabbage patch dolls that's obviously never had cabbage or any vegetable whatsoever ever before in her life. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Fun fact, Vanessa Sterling was breastfed recently and we caught her licking Nutella off her own tits. Thank you. All right, a lot of drag queens, when they do shit like they do, A lot of drag queens bring happiness 
takes to a room like when they do drag queen story time. Dominique brings a lot of happiness to the room when she leaves.